Once we get into our third octave, there are multiple options for trilling different notes. So a lot of it is going to depend on how your particular flute responds because different flute brands respond slightly differently um, in the upper register. And it also depends on whether or not you have um, sometimes the, a C-sharp trill key, which I don't. I try to keep my flute pretty simple. Um, but if you have that key, it can kind of change your options in terms of trilling. There's one note that can be really frustrating to try to trill, and that's our high G to A. So going from G to A. So there's not a super fantastic way to trill that. A lot of the fingerings are gonna be fairly awkward. Usually our, our first option that we're gonna try is to overblow a middle octave G to A. So you're gonna finger, even though you want the high octave, you're gonna finger a middle G. So one, two, three, thumb, pinky, right? And then you're gonna overblow the harmonic and trill it like that. So my left ring finger. So I'm not playing this one. I'm playing this note but I'm doing it with the middle finger, middle octave fingering. It's not perfect. And again, there are some other options, um, just and depending on your flute model, they respond differently. But that's one that sometimes people are really confused about. So if you're trilling, again, from high G to high A natural, try fingering a middle G, overblowing it so you get the harmonic, and trilling your left and ring finger. All right, try it. Let me know how it works.